Hey guys, Jeff off the Gridiron. I've got a great new reveal. I've got a box opening today of my newest toy. And here's a clue. It's from Victorian Ox, and it's cool. Stick around. Hi guys, welcome back. Jeff Allen off the Gridiron. Hey guys, Jeff off the Gridiron Well, today I'm at uh, Rock Point Provincial Park and it's just uh, uh, the week after Father's Day. I uh, hope you and your family are doing well and staying safe. And uh, today I have a little unboxing and I'm super excited. Uh, this was a little treat, uh, the Victoria Knox Swiss Army Knife. This is the uh, Ranger Grip 58 Hunter in the red black model. And uh, I've, I've brought this knife along. I've kind of saved this this opening uh, just for this particular weekend. This is their first uh, family camping trip uh, this summer. And uh, let's have a look. <laughs> here it is here. Ooh, the, 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 the huge reveal out of a little cardboard box. Well, this is it. And uh, I've got rather, uh, I don't know, medium-sized hands, I guess, but this is one chunk of a knife. And why I wanted this one is, number one, it has a lock blade technology where uh, kind of the thumb ramp can kind of deploy it like so. And the kind of the, the logo there serves as the button to, uh, you squeeze that, and it kind of snaps into place. Little thumb choil on the back end there. Um, obviously, kind of Swiss and uh, classic Victorian Ox construction, but it is a very, very beefy knife. It's, a, it's about a, an inch across at least, and um, but it doesn't feel unruly. There's a few little depressions here where the black uh, kind of molded rubber texture grip meets the scales. But uh, this, the, uh, the nice part about this is the, the, uh, the locking blade. So that never can kind of break free. And again, it locks up tight. Just the single button and it collapses down. The other thing I like too is there's a little depression at the end here and that is how you access the saw. Now it's not a locking saw, but you can see how long it is and that's substantial and it is super sharp. Like it's just grabbing my finger, my thumb as I do a little kind of test and it is super sharp. And again, it's uh, almost as long as the handle, but uh, in many bushcraft applications, that's all you need. So we'll keep these tool uh, these two tools up and out of the way and with most most Swiss Army knives you have the uh, combination screwdriver bottle opener and I've always wondered what this is some people claim it to be a um, uh, for a stripping wire but I can't see that application and um, I want to double check that On the other end is your Phillips and your typical can opener at this end and why I really like this, I'm a hunter, and this has a, a, a secondary blade inside. And we're gonna pull it free and we're gonna close up everything else so I can really describe it to you. Get the saw out of the way, push the lock, close this out of the way. Now this does not lock, lock open, only the main blade, but this is a curved blade. And I really see it as a great skinning blade application where on the front tip, it's rounded and smooth. 
And if any of you have done a lot of skinning before, once you kind of in and punctured the skin of the animal, you can slide along and that rides along just under the skin and this would act as a real kind of zipper-like fashion and uh, open that game. Uh, primarily, I would think big game, but uh, certainly be used on anything. And again, your classic Victorian Ox sharpness right at the box. Locks up tight. The, uh, the back end, you've got your tweezers and your classic plastic toothpick. On the back side, I almost forgot about these ones. There's your awl, very sharp gouge or awl, awl tool. And all, obviously your primary Phillips screwdriver. So that's it guys, very beefy, very, uh, very heavy in the pocket. And uh, it's great for one thumb uh, deployment and closing and what I foresee myself doing is having one of these um, kind of uh, expandable lanyards or retention straps and put that on the edge of my belt loop or pocket on the clip and that way as it's hanging in my pocket it doesn't dangle so so deep and uh, because there is some definite weight to this this is not your light duty uh, Swiss Army knife this is very heavy uh, knowing that it's you know definitely in your pocket if not a pocket carry something else you could consider is putting it on your belt and I might create a uh, kind of nice horizontal presentation uh, leather kind of uh, scout carry pouch just for that um, or your, your standard kind of pocket knife sheath um, off your off your belt so I uh, just want to share that with you. Great job, Victorian Ox. Obviously, you are uh, um, continuing to produce great models and take advice of many other people out there, particularly hunters, to create a great functional tool for hunters and bushcrafters alike. Thanks so much for watching. If you've enjoyed my gear review today on the knife, please check out my other channels up top. Up top, you'll find a link and uh, some various cards throughout the video to some other of my, my videos. Thanks for watching. Jeff Allen off the grid iron. Take care.